Hi, this is Glock Ninja, and this video is in reference to the review of the Asus EEE PC. Today, I received the EEE PC, and I did the unboxing video. Today, uh, now, I will show you the EEE PC in action. This is the briefcase that I will be carrying the EEE PC in. As you can tell, it can hold a normal size laptop but it's empty where the EE PC is is in one of the cargo compartments which is much smaller voila so in reality the EE PC takes up less space than the Mac Air the Mac Air although it's thinner would essentially have to fit into the larger compartment and because it takes up the larger compartment, you don't want to put other things in with it because you may damage the computer. But with the Asus EEPC, you can put it in the smaller, com com smaller compartment and have room in the larger compartment for other things like a book, folder, or notebook. This is the Asus EEPC. And I was, go I was going to wait for the uh, Asus EEPC 900, which had the bigger screen. But from what I understand, it was going to cost over $500. So I opted to buy the um, current model, which is, this one is um, uh, $359. And I got it from Amazon.com. They were running a deal where if I bought, actually, if I bought the 2 gig model for 299, they were going to give me this for uh, 348, and essentially um, I got both for uh, 648, 648 dollars for two laptops. It's not a very bad deal at all. Uh, here is the model that I purchased through Amazon.com that allowed me to get the 4 gig along with this 2 gig. And this is my wife's, the Sky Blue model. This is the 2 gig um, surf model. And the difference between the two, the 4 gig and the 2 gig, is that the 2 gig doesn't come with the expansion port for. Uh, Expand, expanding the memory, the RAM. The um, 4 gig, although it's still a surf model, comes with an exemption, expansion pad bay for the upgrading of the RAM. Neither one comes with a webcam because they're the surf models. Start it up. There is um, SD one gigabyte SD card in there, so that's why it's trying to open it up through the file management system. There is the OS. I thought I was going to be really uh, pleased with the uh, Linux OS, um, and and I and I'm, I still am to a certain degree, but I was disappointed in the fact that uh, it didn't have uh, the ability to um, uh, decipher different languages and different fonts like. My wife is Korean, so um, it doesn't support Korean fonts. So we're working on trying to find a program or some kind of uh, software that would do that. And if anyone in YouTube know how I can get a download for free and decipher the uh, Korean fonts, please post a message or a link. Um, other than that, it works pretty good. 
it was sluggish at the beginning, uh, but uh, once it started to, um, you know, once I started using it, uh, it, everything started to come up a lot faster. So, um, it supports uh, all the Flash videos that I've um, played on different websites. So it's work, it works just like any other OS, except for the fact that I believe XP is more of a complete OS than the Xandros Linux uh, uh, OS. And I say that is because, uh, like I said, it doesn't support international fonts. Uh, it, if it does, and if I'm mistaken, uh, please post uh, otherwise. It's very light. Um, is the size of a portable DVD player, and in fact, most people will probably think, uh, thinking uh, that I'm watching a, a DVD movie when I'm actually doing work. Um, but this main reason I bought this is because it can fit in the briefcase and still leave a lot of room in the briefcase for other things. Um, this isn't a video to compare to uh, to do a comparison between this and the i uh, the Mac Air, but I can't help myself but to mention the comparison, and that is because um, the Mac Air, um, although it's slim, it's not as portable as this. And at one-fifth the price, you can't beat it. I bought two, and it was still a quarter of the price of a Mac Air. So you really can't beat it. Uh, for what it's going to be used for, um, it's going to be perfect. Uh, I imagine most people who buy the Mac Air will buy, the, uh, buy that kind of laptop for the same reason for light work, um, web browsing, and Word document, and um, scheduling, whatever you use a portable device for. Um, very easy to carry around, uh, very easy to maintain. Um, I said, uh, I couldn't decide whether to get the Linux version or the XP version. I did, I did finally decide to get the Linux version, and the only disappointment is, again, uh, is the fact that it doesn't support international uh, foreign language fonts. And, uh, you know, other than that, um, I don't see a problem with it. And I guess, uh, eventually, um, Linux will uh, go towards those uh, developments. And the USB ports here, the VGA port, uh, that's the lock, if you want to lock it down. Uh, the old-fashioned uh, telephone plug, another USB, record in and out. really nice really happy with it um, I've been playing with it uh, all evening the keys are very small but it's uh, once you get used to it it is somewhat manageable and uh, it's very nice to sit in front of a TV with this thing and just look at the uh, internet or read something while you're watching TV um, it's very unintrusive very lightweight very um, dainty. Uh, it's, it's, it doesn't get in your way at all. And here is the SD drive with the one gigabyte card that I had in my digital camera that I used in here. I have a lot of Word documents in there now that I could uh, uh, view on the road and if I need to save 
uh, whatever I need to save onto this. And so even though this has a 4 gigabyte internal SSD uh, drive, um, I probably won't u be utilizing any of it. I'll probably be putting it all on the uh, SD drive. SD card, I mean. But that's the Asus EEPC. And for now, I give it a top rating of 4 out of 5. It would have gotten the entire 5 if the OS was more complete and it was uh, able to decipher international foreign fonts.